hey guys what's up again and welcome to my channel this is ashish deshmukh starting from this five reasons why i will not buy ktm duke 200 but before that if you not hit the subscribe button do subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and families so that more and more people will connect to my channel and i want your all the support to my channel so that i will upload the more and more videos if you have any suggestions if you have any queries be free to directly message in my comment box for from any video so without wasting any further time let's get started with this review mode in the five reasons why i will not buy ktm duke 200 2017 model so the first reason the main reason which i am personally agree with that is abs the main reason is that nowadays most of the 200 cc or 200 above cc bikes are getting abs but because of the uh, budget issue i think ktm duke has not given abs to this duke 200 so the main reason is other abs so if i want abs in my bike then i will go with the rs200 which have single channel abs or else if i have more and uh, 10000 rupees then i will go with the dominar 400 which have dual channel abs or there are some many options which having abs option so this is the first reason the second reason is the pillion seat if you are upgrading any bike then you must think about the pillion seat because there are lots of customer who are facing issue because of the pillion seat so pillion seat is the same which is already earlier version of the ktm duke 200 so this is the same pillion seat which is provided in the 2017 edition so pillion seat is not comfortable this is the second issue which i have faced in this ktm duke 200 2017 model the third one is the short rider if you are the short rider this bike is not for you go for fz25 or go for some other uh, means uh, go for pulsar 200 ns but if for the short rider this bike is not comfortable you will face the back pain issues and pillion seat is again not comfortable so the short rider are not uh, means free for this uh, type of bikes so this is the third point the fourth point is the clutch I don't know uh, why I face even after riding 3 kilometers. I have ride this bike for 3 kilometers, but I feel like the clutch is not smooth. It's hard to uh, shift the gear and it's hard to press the clutch. So I don't know why this issue has happened. I think sometimes it happens because of the uh, new bike or whatsoever. But clutch is not smooth, it's from my side. If you have any other opinions, you will suggest in my comment box. So, the fifth point is the exhaust note. That's fine. The exhaust note is fine because this is only about 200 cc motorcycle, so you will not get the best out of best exhaust note in this. So, the main reason is the fifth point is the budget. The one lakh sixty thousand, I think, is the more and more budget. The one lakh sixty thousand, I'm talking about on road price in mumbai so don't get confused i know ex delhi showroom price is lower but in mumbai you will get one like sixty thousand rupees on road price so if i having a budget issue i will go with the pulsar 200 ns or with the rs 200 ns or if i add some amount then i will definitely go with the dominar 400 but if i am a ktm lover then i will definitely go with the KTM Duke 250 which is a far better than Duke 200 so these five all are my opinions all my suggestions all my reasons why I will not buy KTM Duke 200 2017 edition but yes there are several reasons why if I buy KTM Duke 200 but for this video I will give only uh, five reasons 
buy i will not buy so i hope you like this video if you subscribe to my channel then it's okay for me thank you for your support but if you not then do subscribe do share and do like my channel my upcoming video is about ktm duke 250 so wait for that and have a good day take care and subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up